Hello ladies and gentlemen, Teveron here, and welcome back to Finding Paradise. Where, uh, Neil's in a bit of a pickle. Seems he's been experimenting with company equipment. In fact, we're not even using the authorized company equipment on Colin right now. But, uh, don't know how that's going to affect the story. Hey, about earlier. Never mind that. How's progress with the patient? Just swell. We've almost unlocked his entire timeline. Then we'll just send the signal and bam, another job well done. Sounds like you've got everything under control. You bet. Hey, look, I still think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. When I said I couldn't stand you, I swear it was only because I thought you weren't listening. <laughs> I don't really see how that helps. Uh-huh, move along. Right. Your coat is so shiny, Neil. Did you get it dry cleaned? How can you switch tones like that without third degree whiplash? Oh, I'm sorry. So yeah, about your machine. Yep, dry cleaning is just the best. <laughs> Neil, 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 you have got yourself into a pickle. Well, I see a sparkly. Maybe we need to go up to the attic too, but let's check this out. Right, the pictures. Mm-hmm. Notice there are no pictures of Faye ever, anywhere. So why was this a sparkly? Huh. A whole lifetime of memories, and we barely ran into any of these nice ones. Hmm. Barely any of the happy memories captured here were seen during the memory traversal. That's because a lot, maybe even most people, the bad stuff just stands out in your mind. Right? Oh, hello, Sophia. You okay? You're out early. I just needed to take care of some things. I'm heading back soon. That's good. Bring up Colin's memories. You know what? We need some context. Let's do this. Maybe we can even put her mind at ease. We're done connecting most of the paths through Colin's memories, by the way. If you'd like, I can tell you about the things we found. That music. God, that music. I thought that that would be considered confidential. Yeah, but you're his wife. I personally think you deserve to know. but I'm okay. Aren't you at least a bit curious about the things we found? And, um, did you know Colin has a mental illness? Did you ever notice that? Were you aware? Sure. And there was a time when I'd have been dying to know every detail. But now, I don't think it matters much anymore. Perhaps you know some things I don't. Maybe it even changed my view of things. Still, even then, it'd just be another incomplete piece of reality. And after a lifetime where all is said and done, I feel like the best I could do is to simply stay with the reality I've come to peace with. There is, however, something I wanted to ask. Only because I feel like it's meant for me. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book here? And like this? I think that book was his confidant. 
He wrote all about his interactions with his hallucination. But at some point he realized it was a hallucination and kept removing them so nobody would find out. No, I was actually going to ask you about it. He's had it for a long time now, but he kept on replacing its pages. And now it's just filled with blank pieces of paper. If you'll find something about it that's meant for me, please do let me know. That's all I ask. Will do. Despite some misgivings about you at certain points during this whole adventure, Sophia, I think you're a very wise lady. Understood. I'll keep an eye out for it. Is that it? That's it. Anything else? A flat cap hat hangs on the coat rack. over here. No. I think that's everything. Oh. Hey, wait. Dr. Watts, right? I know I haven't been the most welcoming and you probably know why by now. But I know you're just here to do your job. So, Thank you for helping him. I don't know why that just hit me, but my god. That was a surge of emotion. Yeah, no hard feelings. Guess it was because that's what I was talking about earlier about if you truly love someone, you just want them to be happy. That's what's the most important. Doggone it. Back to this music. I want the other music back, game. Yes, we have to earn that. I don't see any sparklies. Oh, it's dark out. Been at this for quite a while, haven't we? There's a purple book here. That doesn't really matter. Hello, Eva. She's not going to hear me like this. I need to use the machine. Oh. Well, I want to check in with people first. Taking a breather, huh? Paperwork, mostly. How's he looking? Colin's okay so far. But you guys sure are stirring things up in there. Stirring things up? What do you mean? It's his brain activity. It's been abnormally high for a sedated patient. Try not to aggravate him too much in there. Wait, what? But we haven't been doing anything different compared to any other patient. Hey, I'm only telling you what I see. Anyway, just try to keep it in mind. I'll continue to monitor his status. Okay... Hey, may I talk to you in private for a moment? Sure. Yeah. Alright, come on. You deserve to be reassured too. I mean, all of this is potentially upsetting for everyone involved, I imagine. What's up? There's something I wanted to ask you. It's about my father's wish and what you saw in there. You know that's confidential, right? Yes, but... You must know what it's like, being the family of a patient undergoing this procedure. To be honest, my mother was always against it, and I wasn't a big fan either. But if father were to take on a new life's worth of memories, well, knowing what and why would at least help me come to terms with it. So please, 
Could you tell me? I mean, we don't have to... We don't have to give specifics, Neil. All we really have to tell him is that... Colin said that he didn't want his family affected. You know, he just wants minor things changed. If this were real life, I would definitely keep confidentiality. But... Yeah, let, let's tell him. Me, who knows, maybe we can get some information. You know your father actually wished for something completely unremarkable. He just asked to be happy. That's all. I guess he certainly isn't, huh? I don't know. I think he was happy. I think his mental illness has him confused. In fact, I'm not at all convinced that it wasn't Faye that caused this whole contract to even be taken out in the first place. Well, you shouldn't look at it that way. People are always going to have cravings and longings for what-ifs. He's just curious about grass on the other side of the fence, that's all. As humans are. I suppose so. But hey, he really did ask for you and your mother to stay as a part of his new life. Hope that helps, for what it's worth. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you gave too awfully much away, but I, I think that just that last little part was really all we needed to reveal, that he asked for his family to stay intact in his memories. Thanks, Doc. Good luck with the rest of it. I hope something works out. Me too. Wish you could give us a little bit of information. Seems like he managed to hide his issues from literally everyone. We'll do what we can. Mm. Oh. Oh, okay. So, uh, we're being forced now. Give Eva a call and see what's going on. I do see the sparkly, so... Maybe I should check in with Eva first. That's what I'm trying to do? Oh, okay. Up here. Patient Neuralink established. Systems online. Um, uh, view connection status? External neural connections 1. Operator profiles Dr. Eva Rosaline. Uh, establish communication. Hey, Eva, do you hear me? Neil? Yep, how's it going in there? Just trying to find the last memory link. Still, there was only one left. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I've looked everywhere. But the scan shows there's one more here somewhere. I I'm gonna find it. Are you done with the paperwork? Well, I just... What was that? Damn it. Where are my pills? You know what? Didn't Dr. Watt say something about pills in the last game and we never really got closure on that? What is wrong with you? That sort of red flash made it seem like you had an episode there, like a heart palpitation or something? Are you ill? Are you dying, Neil? Is that what all this experimentation's about? Neil? I better not have left them in the car again. Hey, you still there? Sorry, I'm not finished with the paperwork yet. Uh, how long does it take to fill and sign some papers? It's, um, almost ready. I'll come back as soon as it's done. Alright, just make it quick. Shouldn't take that long to get to the car and back. I hope we find out what that's about. I'd honestly forgot about that until it happened, unless I'm just having a false memory here. Maybe we can get one of them to go get the pills. Why are you not back in there yet? Constipation. Looks like it. Go take a walk. Uh-huh. That doesn't look like work. 
It's Space Invaders 12, the origin story. It turns out that they were mutant humans and we were the aliens all along. I'm going to kill them all. So you're just going to hang around here? Yep. I mean, she's not on the job, so no reason for her to work. Oh, uh, just remembered. We can get some supposedly funny interactions here. Hopefully that is still available. You know what? I just realized. There's a medical doctor with you, right? Perhaps? Perhaps they could still save me. Maybe if they just put in more effort. I've got some money. Tell them I'll pay. Tell them I'll pay anything. Go. Go to the real world and tell them to save me. Please, it's not too late. He thinks he's in the simulation. Let's keep going. You again. No. No need to speak. I know what you're going to say. If there were... If there were ways to save me, they would have done it already. There's no hope for me. What good are fake memories when I have no future? What good is anything, really? Just leave me, Doc. I'm already dead. Uh-huh. You know what? I thought it through. Everybody dies someday. For me, today is as good a day as any. And with you here, we can make my dreams come true. So today's actually my lucky day. So go ahead, fulfill my wish. Bring Disco back and make me its king. <laughs> uh, as I said, you're not our patient and we aren't here for you. Also, you tripping, man. Bye. <laughs> I sure he, I sure hope he won't be assigned to us. I got a feeling that's the end, but we got to make sure, don't we? Yeah, that's it. He's not coming back to the door. I think we finally got through to him, though. Maybe he's a little bit better equipped to face the end now, too, when it actually comes. Wonder how often someone signs a contract with Sigcorp and then something happens so unexpectedly and quickly that it never actually gets to do its job. The people, the corporation, you know what I'm saying. Hey, mister. I knew you'd come by here. Oh, it's you again. Thanks for kicking Amber's doll into the pond for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Is that your mother? It's okay. I hope you traumatized that kid. Uh, that's a really bad hope to have. She's been picking on my potato for years, and it's time she learned her lesson. And now that I got an even smaller potato, I was really starting to worry about the future. You named both your kids potato? Yeah. I have the same reaction, Dr. Watts. Of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a nickname. Is Potato the nickname for your daughter, too? His real name's Spud. Uh-huh. Oh, by the way, the front desk man said you're here to visit old man Colin. You know Colin? Yeah, he once literally beat up Amber for me. Really? Did I use that word right, Ma? Uh, probably not. No, dear, you meant figuratively. Oh, ah. But what if, so anyway, last week Colin gave me his leftover jar of lemon juice. I haven't seen him since then, though. Could you please give it back to him? Wait, lemon juice? What for? I mean, he likes to drink that. Why would he give it to you and then you not make use of it? To write spy messages, of course. The book's not blank. The book's not blank. It is invisible ink. It is invisible ink. I can't believe 
my first guess was right. Oh my god. We need a lighter. It's Invisible Ink. I've already written two secret letters to Spud for when he can read good. Old Man Colin said he was already done using it, so I could borrow the whole jar if I wanted. Oh. Huh. Lucky me. Yeah, lucky you. Yep. Thanks, Potato. So, could you get the jar back to Colin? Well, I don't think Colin needs it anymore. You could probably keep it. Well, he thinks I'm going to write a letter to myself. Okay, Potato, it's time to head back home. Aw, all right. Do you guys live here? Is this not a retirement community? It's just a regular apartment complex? Eva, are you calling from the machine? Yeah, at least this function's still working normally. Hey, listen, I think I might have figured out Colin's book with the blank pages. That's not important. Right now I need you to check something for me. Uh, what? Bye. Bye, bye, sweetheart. Is everything going okay in there? Did you find the last memory link? No. Are you at a computer? I can be. Good. Could you run a record search on Faye and check for any aviation accidents? Ava is getting suspicious, which is... The exact one that I expected to figure this out, not Neil. Though he may get there too with the uh, invisible ink. You think she was in a plane crash? I just want to rule out the possibility of something. I'll send you her extracted profile. There's enough data even without a last name. That's right, we never actually heard a last name from her too. All the more evidence, right? Let me know when you have the results. Okay. Can we get one of the other two to do that for us? What is wrong, Neil? What's up? You calling? Hello? Yeah. Hey, Rox, you're still on your laptop, right? Yep, yep. I just forwarded a profile to you. Mind helping me run a record check? Sure. Mind telling me what you're up to with the machine? I think it has to do with his health. Um. Okie dokie, Loki pokey. It's settled then. I'll call you back with the results. Kinda like Roxanne. What was the note to? Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. Just exactly what we thought it was. Looks like our buddy at the front desk is gone. Can we get back there? Is there information we could bogart? Aha, we can. But unfortunately, there seems to be no information to pilfer. Wait, is that a book bookcase right there? Maybe it is, but we can't interact with it, so... Guess we need to go get Neil's pills. Maybe we'll find out what that's about. Hey, Eva, I'm still working on the... Neil, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Hello, are you there? Something's wrong. I'm right here, what is it? Neil, if you can hear me... Listen, I don't think she... Eva? You still there? She found out, didn't she? What's happened? Weird. The calm must be... The calm must be malfunctioning. Uh-huh. Why is the music so ominous? I'll fix it as soon as I get back. Right. Hello, motorcycle? 
What? What was that? It's a nice bike. That was the bike that was parked over there, wasn't it? Sure wish I had one like it. Were they doing something to the car? Hello? Eva, what happened earlier? No, it's Roxy, you silly putty. Oh. Uh, so how's the record search going? No, it's going just great. Actually, no, it's not great at all. You can't find anything about her, can you? Well, what... Well, what Rob's saying is that it depends on your perspective. What? It's a yes or no question. Did she die in a plane crash or not? Well... So here's the great part. There's no plane crash to her record, so you won't have to worry about that. But there's no record at all. Right? Sheesh, why didn't you just say so? A simple no would have sufficed. Well, that's not all, though. The thing is, not only is there no plane crash, there's nothing else to her record either. In fact, there is no record of Faye. Mm-hmm. As in no record available to public domain? As in no record in existence. Anywhere. Mm-hmm. Hopefully Neil will remember to get his pills. We've checked the cumulative public record, the private ID network databases, even, well, even a few places that we technically don't have access to. Still, there is no record of her for anything. No death, not even birth. Oh. Oh. Yeah, finally gets through that thick skull of yours, doesn't it? So, unless Colin's got some extreme form of distorted amnesiac condition. He doesn't. I checked. Yeah, so... Yeah, but we also don't know that he's got a mental illness where he's hallucinating a person in his head either, do we? So, not real confident in our fact-finding. Oh, sorry, I got another call. Hello? Hopefully that was Eva. Beginning to be a little bit worried about her, how she got cut off. Yeah, I think he just took a peel. I, I hope he did. Act 3. Even if it was just someone like me. Looks like there's a glitch in the Matrix, folks. Hey. Where are you two going? Company called. We got another patient going live across town. Yeah, gotta hop. Sorry, Neil. Night call, huh? Should have taken a nap. <laughs> We're used to it all by now. Seems like you've got a handful to sort out yourself, huh? Yes. Even if what we yielded means what I think it means, you might be in for a tricky evening. Yeah, if what we yielded means what I think it means, you might be in for a tricky evening. At least from our experience, patients capable of that tend to be rather peculiar cases, so this isn't a uh, unique incident for us. I've read the patient's case, by the way. Care for a word of advice? Please? Well, you're probably going to give it anyway, so... I don't know the details of Colin's life, but this reminds me of a case we've done. Just try to remember that making someone happy isn't only about finding the answers. It could also be about shaping the question. What would make them happy? Anyhow, good luck. Don't know if that's straightforward enough to get through to Neil, honestly, but thank you for the advice. By the way, 
don't think you're getting off the hook easy. After this is done, you've got some explaining to do, don't you? Um, and it's going to be so much fun. See ya. I'm looking forward to it. What? Oh, wait, something just occurred to me. Although I'm not sure why yet, I do know that you removed the machine stabilizer. Which is, I guess, why we're getting tree lockers and such. But with the patient's subconscious being neurowired to the system's processor, well, I hope you've got a backup plan if he's able to get around its single thread firewall. That sounds ominous. Are you saying that the patient can take control of the thing? That worries me. We need to do anything with these papers? Yeah, we might be in for some chop here, folks. Maybe we should buckle up. And also, on that note, seeing as how I think we're about to deep dive into something we really weren't expecting to face, we should probably put in a cut here and pick up in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like below. It really does help tremendously. And of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. I have been Tevron, and until next time, friends, be excellent to each other.